Hello, I'm American people. My name is Marcos Oliveira from Brazil. Coming from my fight April 14. Watch one of the best knockout artist, artists for Brazil, okay? Gracias. Thank you. I'm here with Marcus Vinicius Oliveira from Brazil, and you're going to be making your debut in the United States in Miami, Florida, and, and it seems you already got the right t-shirt on. You, you got Le LeBron James representing the Heat. Yeah, man, I love basketball. He's my man, my friend, my eye doing basketball. I feel good to use the t-shirt hand. <laughs> Well, Marcus, uh, obviously you're, you're a power puncher. You got 22 wins, 20 knockouts. The, the fans always clamor for, for a knockout. Is that, is that what, you, what you come to bring? Are you, are you going to showcase that, that power punching for the fans at the high line? Yeah, yeah, I want to show my punches because my, my best punch is, is in the body punch. I want to show my body punch for Miami fans, boxing fans. Yeah, and the body punch is always a, a lost art in boxing. A lot of people go head hunting. Yeah, you yeah. rather go to the body. Yeah, yeah, I like it starting with the body because I, I, I finishing the the gym. My opponent sometimes is sleepy, but I don't know what happened. <laughs> so, uh, being from Brazil, how, how did you get into boxing? Because it seems a lot of guys, especially your age, either play football, football. or MMA. Yes. MMA today is very important in Brazil, but before now, boxing is very important because the best mother waves of all time is from Brazil, Ederjov, the best boxer for 60 decades, the best mother wave, gold mother wave. Boxing is good in Brazil too. Yeah, Eder Joffre was a was an excellent fighter, one Edder of the Joffre one of the best of all time. Yeah, uh, yeah. <coughs> growing up, did you also uh, follow Asalino Popo Freitas? Yeah, good. Popo Freitas is very good too. Hard hitters, uh, one of the greats. My idol too. Good fighter. And fi fighting in, on this card, Marcus, um, fighting for a promoter Don King, who's you know an icon. Everybody in the in the world knows him. It, it, does that you know does that add a little more honor fighting on, on this card, having Don King as promoter? Yeah, it's dream come true. Yeah, fight for Don King, sign contract with Don King. Uh, working hard every day, I'm gonna do a good fight. So what should fans expect from you? Because uh, a lot of people, yeah, they you know they could go on YouTube and watch a couple of your fights. But you know now they're gonna see you here in person in the United States. What what are they gonna see from you? What what are they gonna take away from the fight? And why are they gonna be a a, a fan of Marcus Oliveira? Yeah, yeah my, my first fight here in America is the best place for boxing in the world, the best country in the world. Yeah, but I fight in Germany, fight in Bolivia, a lot of fights versus in Brazil versus the Argentine fighter. I have some some couple fights in YouTube, but I have my Facebook page. After this fight, the people in America go know me now, okay? But it's okay. And you, you know, you got the power punching down and you also seem to have charisma. You come with personality. Yeah, yeah. As Brazilian people have charisma, man. Brazilian <laughs> people have too much charisma. You know girls? Brazilian girls? Oh, Brazilian girls are excellent. Yeah, yeah me too. I, I hope my wife isn't listening though. No, <laughs> my wife don't can listen to you. But it's Brazilian, <laughs> Brazilian people have good charisma. Yeah, and um, what, what, uh, what, what are your, your goals? For, for your future, you know, you're you're an up and comer. Yeah. Like we said, power puncher, you're gonna go to the body, knock some people out. Yeah. What do you see yourself in a, in a couple of years? You wanna fight for, you obviously fight for a world title. Yeah, it's, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna beat this guy, Bo Janet, for my first step in America. Junior fight for in hard hockey. I don't know my opponent, but I, I, I have a fight now for Junior. I wanna do fight, fight. Uh, up in the, the, the world, world ranking and fight for world title in these years or WBO fight or IBF title I wanna fight for the world title well there you have it guys Marcus Vinicius de Oliveira I'm, I'm sure we're gonna hear from him because if, if he knocks people out like he has been doing in Brazil yeah, and with, with that personality I wanna do here too my friends this guy could be a superstar in boxing thank you very much I'm here with director of boxing for Don King Productions and also the trainer of world champion Tavoris Cloud, Al Banani. Al, welcome to Boxing During Dinner. Good morning or oh, good evening. <laughs> yeah, there's no dinner here. It's uh, it's a little early in the morning, but Al, this this show coming up April 14th mm -hmm. at the Casino Miami Highlight with Joey Hernandez. It's it's a great show to get the, the highlight back, back on track with the boxing world. Well, you know, as people in Miami, I grew up in Miami. Um, Miami is... Uh, Miami Highlight has is, been the mecca of boxing for Latinos, particularly for la Latinos, uh, but for all fighters in the Miami area since the 60s, the 1960s. And my family's been involved in the promotions with Don King there since the 70s. 
so it's good to be back home. Uh, in fact, I grew up down the street. <laughs> and like you said, you know, you you were a big part of the of that boxing culture at the at the highlight. Having it come back, I mean, it, it must be a, a good feeling to put put boxing back back in there. Well, so many great fighters have walked through the Miami Highlight and fought there, like Baby Sugar Rojas, Escalera, Roberto Duran, Alexis Aguayo. And just to be back in that arena is, is, is fantastic. It's very nostalgic for me. Joey Hernandez in the main event. He's a, he's a local fighter, a fighter that a lot of people like to watch fight. You mentioned uh, Baby Sugar Rojas. I remember when when I was a kid, I went to a Baby Sugar Rojas fight there against uh, Jerome Coffey. Probably one of my first memories of a, of a live fight. Do, do you think uh, Joey Hernandez and the, and the fighters that are going to fight on this card could, could bring that buzz back into Miami boxing and especially at the highlight? Well, you know, it's old school. I mean, um, this is the last of the old school arenas. The, the history will make the fighters fight even greater, being in that old arena, because we're fighting in, on the Fontan, not in the casino area, but in the Fontan, which also, by the way, allows children to go. You, uh, children in the state of Florida can't go to a casino, but they can go to the, to the fights. So I think that with the international card that we have there and the young fighters that we have there, I think that it's going to mean a lot to Miami and a lot to them. With the fighters on this card, you know, you got a good boxer like Joey Hernandez who's going to move around, stick and move. And you also got a power puncher like Marcus Vinicius Oliveira mm -hmm. on the card. That, that provides everything a boxing fan wants to see. A little boxing and also the power punching. Well, I'm very excited about this card because I mentioned international. And you have Joey Hernandez, who's a Cuban-American kid that grew up in Miami. And he's... Um, his idol, by the way, is Camacho. So most fighters, when you when you ask Latino fighters, you say, okay, who's your idol? They say Chavez or Durand, you know, who are more aggressive, power-punching type of uh, macho fighters. He likes um, Macho Camacho. So that goes to show you <laughs> what you're going to see. He's very exciting. Throw, he's got very fast hands. He moves around the ring. And he's fighting a kid they call the Assassin from North Carolina. So it should be an interesting fight. With Marcos Oliveira, from Brazil, by the way. Marcos, I know the trainers argue with him every day to box, box, box. Because he loves to punch. He's got good rhythm, but he would, and he's tall with a long jab, but he'd rather get in there and fight. So he's fighting a kid that, um, that I've used several times from North Carolina, uh, who's coming with Joe's, Joseph's opponent. And uh, he's a very, very, his name is um, Jeanette, Paul Jeanette. And he's a very, very tough, tough, tough fighter. He just went the distance with BJ Flores in his hometown in a very close fight. So it should be a great fight. And then we have Augustama, uh, uh, Isaiah Augustama, who represented Haiti in the Olympics in China and is a, a, a superb boxer, puncher, and he'll be on the show. Um, so we're bringing a mix. We have Brazil, we have Cuba, uh, we have um, uh, um, Haiti. So it, 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 it's a great uh, mix of, of nationalities, you know, and, and to bring the fans, you know. And uh, we also have on the card two very uh, strong American fighters that are fighting out of um, Davie, Florida. Um, uh, Amir Iman, who I think could become a world champion. He's only has three fights, but he's an excellent little fighter. And Trevor Bryan, who's a heavyweight. And I'm proud to announce today, and I don't think it's been out yet, that Bermain Stevain, originally from Haiti, now fighting out of Montreal, who lived here in Miami, who another Haitian fighter, is the number one heavyweight in the world that's set to fight Klitschko. It hasn't been announced yet, but I think Don King is attempting to um, make this fight by the end of the year. And Klitsch, he will be fighting Klitschko by the end of the year, and he's getting a tune-up fight. And uh, he's fighting Harvey Jolly out of Detroit. So that's an added attraction for the fans. 
And Harvey Jolly, um, you know, a, a fighter who's been around and he gives everybody the fits. But lastly, Al, um, you know, working with, with Don and, you know, Don King's been everywhere, but especially at, at Highlight, he's put some, some monster cards there. How excited is he to get boxing back at the Highlight? Well, you know, it was interesting. Saturday night, we had the grand opening of the Highlight. Even though the Highlight for the neighborhood has been opened for about 20, 25 days, we did the official opening in a party for, and Don actually came down from Palm Beach and was at there mingling with all the people and, uh, you know, so he's very, very happy to be back at the Highlight. And, uh, you know, when you say Miami Highlight boxing and you say Don King, you're talking about two icons. I mean, an icon and a, and a historic venue that I don't think you could see, ever see. I mean, it's maybe the last time you see the two of them together like this. Olá, meu povo brasileiro que, que vive aqui nos Estados Unidos. Vamos assistir minha luta dia 14 de abril no estado, em Miami de Highlight, Cassino, Cassino em Miami de Highlight. Vamos assistir o brasileirinho aqui. Obrigado a todos.